that looks sus. Tell me you've ever seen an Air Force One do that. You see that? I am like 100% positive these are fake. Did we just find fakes at the outlet? I think we did. What's going on guys? We are back with another YouTube video. And today we have a very, very special video for you guys. We're going to be going to the Nike outlet. Okay. It's very hit or miss. Sometimes they have absolute heat and sometimes they don't. And we got a little special guest here in Kansas City. What's up y'all? Big Al in the cut. He's in Kansas City. Might be moving. Up. No, I ain't no maybe. I'm moving out here. He's moving out here. We're going to get the podcast rolling, baby. I know I mentioned the podcast a few videos ago. Podcast is coming very, very soon. Also in this video, I'm going to give you a little update on the merch. I know so many people have been wanting to know about the merch, wanting to cop the merch, want to know when it's going to drop. Okay. It's coming very, very soon. We're putting the finishing touches on them today. So I'm going to be taking you guys along with that. Alex, can you back me up on the merch? Can you back me up on the merch? I can. That merch is insane. Like I've seen it. I have a personal piece already. He won't let me wear it. He's like, you can't wear it anywhere till it drops or I post pictures, but it's actually really fire. So you guys are going to want to pick that up when it drops. But yeah, enough with that. We're going to head out, go to the Nike outlet, see what they got. Hopefully they got some deals and then stay tuned so you guys can see the shirts. All right, we're here. We're gonna switch to the iPhone because they get very mad when we take the camera in there. So let's let's see what we can find. You got high hopes? Uh, I mean, Georgia outlets sometimes got some stuff. Never really been to the Kansas City outlet, so you know I got some hope. I got high hopes. We'll see you guys in there. All right, we're on the iPhone cam now. Uh, the NASCAR races are like two blocks from the outlet, so you can just hear the NASCARs just ripping the entire time we're out here. All right, here we go. Nike time, baby. High hopes. Let me give you some outlet tips. These racks don't really have it. You want to look on the back walls. They're like 30% off, and you can find retros in there sometimes. Sometimes. All right, so we just found a bunch of these. The Nike Fly Knits, or Fly Ease, I mean. So these are for people who have trouble putting on their shoes. Can you close it? So they just slip on. No laces, no nothing. They just pop out and then slip back on. They got these in a whole bunch of different sizes all over here. The flyies are, are pretty dope in my opinion. I really, really like them. I know a lot of people don't, but I do. I thought we just were gonna score on the Tom Sacks. They're not the Tom Sacks. I thought we were gonna have a little little score here. All right, Big Al, what do we got? I just found some Jordan on reds. Show them. Dude, get these. <laughs> Come on now. We did find. We found some. Oh. We found some uh, Jordan uh, 12 low cleats for golf. Big Al might need some of these. Big Al's actually been golfing recently. Well, you so. don't golf. Dude. Yes, I do. Then we oh. found whatever these are, the Nike SB. Alley-oops. The alley-oops. Tell me these don't look a little bit similar to these right here. All right, Big Al said he found something. Dude, I found MCAs in here. Off-white MCAs? Tell me these don't look like MCAs. Like they even got like, they're actually more features to them. More features, bro. These are better than the MCAs. Right, they're more off-white inspired than off-white. And they got a Nike React in here, so they're comfy. Look at the bottom. Crazy. Whoa, it's like split. Thoughts? I don't know how to feel about that. Like, look in the back. It's like not lining up. We got the, what are these called again? Citrus. Citrus Sevens. These, wait, are these the silver bullets? Oh, I thought these were the silver bullets. All right, we got a uh, first little tiny pickup. See, Chance ain't really found on all these shelves. Everything you've seen in this video, I found it. I just found some little foams, man. Big Al? Yeah, I'm kind of like that in the, the <laughs> French shoes. I don't know what these are, but these are kind of hard. They're like cream. You can't really see it on camera, but the whole shoe's like cream. Look what else we just found. These things are hard to come by these days. All white forces. No way. All white forces. On discount? <laughs> And on discount. Bro, we're looking at these. Honestly, these might be fake. Like I know, okay, I know people are like, oh, they're at the Nike outlet, they can't be fake. But somebody could come return these. Dude, even just look at the Nike Air on the back. Like, bro, that looks sus. Look at the Honest shape of that shoe. Bro, look at the shape. Can you guys even see that? Like, bro. Like, like I feel like somebody bought fakes turn and the returned camera around them. This. Like does this not look like slightly pushed to that side? Like there's more room right here than there is right here. Bro, like, like look, look at, at this. the insole on that one. Look, there's no Nike. There's no Nike on the insole of this, and they're not worn. They're brand new. Like even like that. Like, it's feel very like. Bro, look. Honestly, bro, I'm not even gonna lie. Like, do you actually think they're fake? 
I don't know about fake, but the quality control is just bad. They could be though. Bro, no, look. look. Do you guys see this? Look at the sole. Look, look at the that. sole. Look how small that is. No, 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 look at the sole. Do you see how like yeah. distorted that is? That like right here. Do you guys see that? It's like not even even. Oh yeah, even on this one. Bro. Did we just find fakes at the outlet? I think we did. Bro, wait, look, hold on. We need to further evaluate. Just tell the employees? Look at these, bro. Look, like, look at the toe box. No, dude, yeah, these bro, are- Bro, I promise you, like, we didn't, like, plant this, These bro. are no good. Dude, we're giving a- Dude, that smells like blue, dude, like- Bro, we, we're not, like, planning this. Like, this was not, like- Bro, look at the toe box. Like, that- Like, look, look at the front look, of you. No, no, no. Look at the front of that toe box compared to this one. Like, even the front. Like, put, 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 put this way towards the camera. Look. You can see how one's like really small. Do you see that? Bro, I think somebody returned a fake Air Force One. Like, look, look how, like, Air Forces don't do this. Right? Am I wrong? Even, even this one. Bro, Air Forces don't do that. Bro, the Air Forces don't do that. Look at the stitching look on the these. Stitching right there. Do you see that? Like, how uneven it is? It's really close right there. And then over here, it gets really spread look out. Bro, if we can find another Air Force in here and compare you're not even safe at your own nike outlet bro somebody just returned some fake air forces like this is this was like this is not set up this is not cap this is not, i don't fake stuff on youtube at all we we're just coming in here trying to find some jordans for like a steal for like a cool little video i was gonna scrap the video if we didn't find anything but we just found some fake air forces somebody just came up they bought some fake air force ones online for probably like 15 dollars, 20 dollars, right and they just probably return these and made a hundred bucks or a hundred and ten dollars because that's how much you would return them for bro like look they're just like falling off of the sole dude these are bro look tell me you've ever seen an air force one do that ever you've never seen an air look it's got a mohawk an air force one does not do that bro like look bruh are you serious? We might have just made a viral video, like by accident. And you guys saw, like we weren't walking in with any shoes or nothing. Like this is not fake, this is not cap. What is this red? Do you see the red stitching in the heel? I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna go off the box because this could very well be a replacement box. Look how inconsistent this is. Do you see that? Look at the stitching on this, the stitching on here. Do you see this stitching right there? Can you see that on the camera? Yeah. Toe box. Can you see that? Very bad. Dude. There's even like, this one like curves in really look, weird. Look at that. You see that? Bro, I am like 100% positive these are fake. Look on the tongue. You can't even read any of the writing on it. Like at all. Dude, and red stitching. So we found out where that red came from. Bro, Air Force Ones don't have red stitching. Am I wrong? I'm, I'm pretty sure you're not wrong on that. Like, I'm pretty sure it's a white. Oh, we just found fake Air Force Ones at the... Like, should we tell somebody? Oh, look, like, you could, like... The shoe, like... You, like, Air Forces don't do that. No, they don't. <laughs> what? Like, this is not, like... I'm not doing this for, like, views or clickbait or any of that. Like, we legitimately just, like... We're, I, I showed the video, I was like, oh, you got Air Force Ones on discount. We're gonna check my pair when we get home because we can't find any other Air Force One lows. So we're gonna check my pair at home and just see. All right, so we are on our way back now. I'm gonna go check my Air Forces at home and see see what, like, if, what the stitching is like. I don't know, but and can you agree with me that those, those are not real? I don't think they were. Yeah, I think something was weird with them for sure. Whether that be like a really bad B grade, I don't know. But like they didn't wear B grade stamps. So I'm gonna say fake. Yeah, and at the Nike outlet, they're required to put B grade stamps on it, right? Sure. And they smelled funky. Like they smelt like a fake shoe. I used to work at a sneaker store. Alex worked at a sneaker store. We both worked at a resale store, and we know like when like we know the smell, like the fake smell. Like it smells like glue and like factory. It doesn't smell like that new shoe smell. And just on how flimsy those shoes were and like, I don't know, bro. Like those, I, I think we found a pair of fake uh, Air Force Ones at the outlet. Like that's gonna be the video title. Like we literally had, we were gonna go film at the Nike outlet and if we didn't find anything, we were gonna scrap the footage. I don't know, bro. Here's what happened, okay? So a Nike outlet or a Foot Locker or any of that, they're not gonna have fake shoes, right? That's like not possible, right? But if I were to go in there with a fake Jordan or a fake Air Force One or whatever, and return it to the store, you see what I'm saying? Like, I would say it would have to be like an Air Force or something like that, so it's not one of like a crazy hype shoe that no one's obviously returning, like they're gonna look at that, but if it's like an Air Force, they're not gonna like, 
think right twice like about it. like you would either need a receipt or like you would need the card that you purchased the shoe with right but a general shoe like an Air Force One I feel like they might even just give you like a gift card or something if you don't have your actual card to refund it I don't know I feel like somebody bought like a 10 or 15 dollar like fake like a bad fake Air Force One and brought it in there and then cashed out the uh, what's the retail 100 now or 110 now so they just came up like i don't know we're gonna check my air forces when i get home i think we just found some fake air forces at the outlet bro i should have bought them and brought them home and black lighted them that would have been that would have been the true test but all right we're gonna pick up with you guys at home we'll see you there all right, so we're about to head home and check the Air Forces real quick. Now we're at the merch shop. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys some more little sneak peeks. I promise you guys it's coming out very, very, very soon. But yeah, we're gonna show you guys some sneak peeks here of the merch, so let's go. All right, so we are at the t-shirt place now. You guys want, I got some assistance from Brandon over here. Every t-shirt that I will be dropping has been handcrafted, hand done, Kansas City, Missouri. I've touched every single t-shirt. He's touched every single t-shirt. Alex here has touched every single t-shirt. I'm gonna give you guys a little, little sneak peek here. These are handmade, handcrafted, Kansas City, Missouri, baby. Yes, sir, a little sneak peek right there. Whoa, chill. All right, so it is the next day. We are home now. We had to, stuff came up uh, yesterday, so I'm filming the rest of this today. But I am just now checking, and these are my Air Forces. They're cooked. I don't want to hear it, okay? I don't want to hear none of that. They are cooked, and when I look under the insole, it does have red stitching, okay? So I was wrong. I was wrong on the whole stitching thing. But nonetheless, I do, those were fake. Those Air Force Ones were definitely fake in the Nike outlet. My pair does not fold in like that. Like, even if I tried, you can't have the shoe to fold in like that. That doesn't work. You can't make them do a mohawk. You can't do none of that. And these are like cooked. Like they should be able to, but they don't. So I don't know. I think those Air Forces were definitely fake. Look at these, like it doesn't have that big, I don't know. Do you guys think we found fake Air Force Ones at the Nike outlet today? My opinion, I think they were fake. Alex? I think, I think they're fake too. You think they're fake? Yeah. I think one, I would say I am 95% sure those were fake at the Nike outlet. Somebody finessed and returned them and made a bag. They probably returned like three, four pairs, made their money. I don't know, bro. It's just sad like that people are doing that and then finessing people with fake shoes. I don't know. Like I, I don't have any issue with fake shoes, but they probably are paying like 10, $15 for those Air Forces. Then somebody's paying full price at the Nike outlet or discounted price, still like 80 bucks. I don't know. I think that's wrong. I think that's not cool whatsoever. But yeah, let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Let me know. You think they're fake? You think they're real? Do you think I'm stupid? I don't know. Let me know in the comments down below. And that being said, if you guys haven't already, like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you get notified every time I post because I do post a lot. Merch coming so, so soon. Follow my Instagram right here for all the merch updates. That's gonna be where you guys are seeing everything first before YouTube. So if you guys are interested in the merch, they might even drop before the next video. So I don't know. I would follow the Instagram so you get all the updates if you guys are interested in the merch. Alex, can you agree? I think the merch is gonna go quick. The merch is gonna sell out for sure, 30 seconds. I think, I, I honestly think it's gonna go pretty quick. It's very, very limited. There's not a whole lot of t-shirts. There's like a handful in each size. So. If you guys want them, get on the site right when it drops. I haven't announced any of that yet, but very, very, very soon on my Instagram. All right, that being said, I love you guys so much, and I will see you in the next video. Peace!